What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanna start this video off just by saying that I've been sick this past week. I actually missed a lot of work and I haven't been feeling great. But this weekend I was still able to finish up the closet. So this week's video is gonna be a little bit shorter, but stay tuned for next week's video. It'll be back to regular. So let's jump right in and get this closet finished up. Okay, so there's a little bit more done than last time you saw this. I had my laser level set up in here and I couldn't really have the lights on so I couldn't really film very well. But I got some more of these braces going around. Got these ones up. So these are just tacked through into these boards right here. So I got my laser level, made sure everything's square, made sure everything goes straight up. I actually had to use a little shim in a few places and stuff just to make everything perfect. So you can see it's all perfectly straight here. Now I'm gonna go and finish cutting the rest of the brackets for like here, or the supports, I guess, for there and there. You can build the shelves that we'll put on top of them. The shelves that'll go all the way across the top. I also picked up the rods. So once I get these supports in, and these supports in, I'll be able to put the rods across. I got the brackets for all the rods. And then I'll finally be able to hang some of my clothes up. And obviously I gotta go through, I'll caulk everything, all the edges, I'll fill all the nail holes. Now I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do here yet as far as drawers and stuff go, because I might just end up leaving it open like this. You can see this is already a mess, but leave it open like this and then I can just fold my pants, fold my shorts and stuff like that and put it on there and not have to worry about building drawers. And then towels and everything like that could be right here too. So we'll see what I decide to do. Right now I can just leave it open until I get the rest of this stuff done. And So yeah, let's go down. We'll cut a few more boards. We'll get them painted and then we'll get them in here. Okay, here's the list of all the last parts that I need. So we got all the supports, all the way across the top, all the shelves. And then we'll be able to put the rods in. So let's go get these cut. So 
you can see my dad's starting to make this ditch. So right now when it rains, all the water runs down right here and then it goes on top of the road right here and crosses. So we're gonna keep this ditch going all the way down into that culvert that we put down there. So while I'm working on the closet, he's out here doing this. Super helpful. Got this one cut let's go test fit it before we make the second one make sure everything looks good this is basically what it'll look like this back corner actually needs to be hammered down a little bit but I'm not gonna squeeze it in there before it's painted so you can see it comes off here and gets wider feel that difference all right I just got this temporary table set up now I can just cut the boards right on top of this you can see I've already used it for this a lot so now I can set the MDF up on here I'll trace out all the lines I need and then I can cut them with the skill saw. The table saw is not really useful unless you have two people. So I'm up here by myself right now. So using the skill saw will be good. But then when we do like the trim outside and stuff, that's where this will really shine because you can set it to whatever width you want. And then you can run narrow boards through here. All right, let's keep going. All right, they're all dry now. I'm gonna take them all up to my bedroom. We'll start laying them out and getting them up. So once we're done with the master bedroom shelves, we're gonna build some for the pantry and we're also gonna build some for the washer and dryer. I cannot wait to finish so I can get rid of all this sawdust that makes a mess and puts a layer on top of everything. So let's hurry up and finish all this stuff up and get this cleaned up. Okay, so here's a good example of the sheetrock not being on flat. So with that spray foam insulation, see we got a gap here, it's tight, and a gap here. So basically there's a little hump right here in the sheetrock. So we're gonna take this tool so we can slide it back and get it flush. All right guys, well all the wood's up now. Now I'm gonna go grab my caulk gun and I can caulk all these little gaps here. And then I'll get the touch up paint. I got a few places that I missed that I need to do like there and there, but we'll get it all caulked and everything. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right here as far as drawers. I think I'm just gonna take my 
dresser and put it back underneath here for now. So I'll get everything all caulked up and then the last step will be to install these. And then we'll get all the rods cut to the right length and put them in, that'll be really easy. So we'll turn and vacuum this stuff up and then we'll get the caulk gun. Just remembered I had some extra baseboard. So I went and cut a few pieces to length. I'm gonna have to get more, but they only come in 17 foot length. So I'm gonna need a trailer when I get them. So we'll get a few of these little pieces up and then we can get the rest of the baseboard. And then we can put the grill cover on this once the baseboard covers it and stuff. So we'll do what we got for now and then we can always just finish up the baseboard, so. Everything is caulked now. I started filling in a few of the nail holes you can see, but I'm running out of time tonight, but I'm gonna hurry and get at least two of these rods up so I can get all the clothes out of my bedroom. I've taken everything out of my closet. My whole bedroom is a disaster right now. So I'm gonna get these two rods up so I can get my shirts hanging at least, and then I can pull them down and do the touch up paint tomorrow as soon as all this caulk's dried and everything. Everything's turned out all right. So we'll get some measurements real quick. We'll go cut those and put them up. All right, well, I'm done working for the night. So you can see we still got all the tools out. This all needs to be cleaned up. I still gotta go back through tomorrow and finish filling all these holes. But you can see I got my shirts hanging in here. Now I can finally get the rest of my shirts and bring them up here. And then for now, I just have this dresser right back in here. Again, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with all this stuff, with all this room. I don't know if I'm gonna do built-in drawers or maybe buy a nicer dresser that fills this out more. And then you can see we got the storage over here. Good spot for blankets up here. And I still gotta go through and, you know, touch everything up. There's a few edges that I missed. We'll get all that tomorrow. Pretty cool.